Boat's dark. AC's off, shore power is cut off. Got some battery operated fans and lights. Doing some troubleshooting. I want to install my ELCI for safety reasons. Uh, so I got this fancy, so before I did that I wanted to check for any leakage. So I ordered this fancy mega uh, leakage clamp. It's very, very sensitive and it also has that in the, the middle button there. It says wide and 50, 60 hertz compare. Uh, that 50, 60 hertz is a filter because you get a lot of noise so it gives very good readings. So in part of doing this I wanted to, there's the uh, Shore Power 2 which is what it currently runs off. This is the uh, hot and the neutral, okay? And then this one is the ground for that Shore Power plug that's in use. So I clamped these two and I was getting like two amps. Not two milliamps, two amps. And then I checked on this one and I was getting an amp and a half, something like that. Something crazy. So I was like, oh Jesus. You know, the ELCI would never work. Not even close. So I had to read up on troubleshooting for shore power or AC leakage. Um, it can cause lots of problems in many different ways. One being a safety factor. However, it did appear that the vast majority of the leakage was going out the ground. The green wire back to shore power. So I, mean, I guess that's better than into the water. So anyways, I <clears throat> did some more reading. Once I determined that I actually did have a shore power or a AC leakage problem. And again, don't laugh at the wiring. I gotta, I gotta clean up and redo all this stuff. I came here, right here, which is the neutrals, okay? And disconnected the shore power at the pedestal, just let the, the cord stay out there. And then came in and put my multimeter on ohms and read from the, uh, let me see if I can get this in focus. Doesn't much matter. But I read from the uh, neutrals to the grounds and I had like perfect continuity which is not what you're supposed to have from what I read it's supposed to be a very high milli ohms mega ohms whatever it's supposed to be just about open and if you are reading from something it's probably through some electronic devices or something like that uh, so but this was like pretty much grounded so I was like all right somebody's got some wires crossed so on this not top one but on uh, I think it was this one right here because as you see all everything except that blue wire looks like it's original all the white wires there look original but there was one on there that did not look original matter of fact it was this one right here all right so with that cheap yellow crimp did not look original so that's the first one I took off I'm like all right these Taiwanese are pretty good when they made this boat most of this wiring is original except for the items that you can clearly see so let me start with that one I'll take that wire off took that wire off remeasured from neutral to ground and I read an extremely high number just like you would expect milli ohms mega ohms whatever all right so then I was like all right where's that stuff go so I isolated these three wires right here disconnected them all and then began to trace them back now Let's just note something here. Here's the two, here's the three wires. All right, we got a white, a black, and a red. Now, this red one, see the green tape on it, was on the green ground bus. So I found the other side of this. Let's go check the other side. All right, so here's where it went to. This is a battery, or excuse me, a, a 110 outlet that was in the back. It was intended for the battery charger which is right behind this door so if you remember on the other side that red wire had green tape around it and it was connected to the ground bus well where is it on this it's on the neutral the white wire was on the ground and that was on the neutral of course white usually goes on neutral so he just wasn't paying attention and I guess he just got I don't you know I'm not sure how he got this but so all I'm gonna do is for now reverse these two wires and everything should work 
Uh, but then I got to retest leakage because there could be more leakage. I don't know. But hopefully everything's good at this point. So I'm going to reverse these wires, hook everything back up, plug everything back in, short power, and then we'll retest leakage. Okay, everything's back together. AC is running. We used to have, I don't remember, I got it written down like four amps or something like that three two amps now the whole system and shore power is getting uh, 3.9 milliamps so that's fantastic I believe the ELCI trips at 30 milliamps so we've got tons of room I don't have everything on I have pretty much everything on I'm, I mean the uh, the uh, multi plus two is on the AC is on battery chargers times two are on uh, the only thing not on is the water heater, which I'll test that later. Um, but right now, everything else in the system is on, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and I'm very happy that I have this Mega. Did a lot of reading and uh, figured out this uh, this issue. And I'm glad I did. It was an existing issue on the boat that I've had the whole time. I just never had a reason to check or nobody else checked my shore power cord to see what kind of leakage we were getting and it was pretty extensive now luckily it was all going into the ground circuit uh, so you know no divers were at risk as far as I could tell and I only corrected that one plug and we went from you know whatever it was 3 amps to 3.9 milliamps <clears throat> so very very happy it was a real pain in the ass though it took me most of the day when I was supposed to be doing other things <clears throat> but I'm very glad to have this behind me just to show we've got come on focus we got 14 amps coming into the boat <clears throat> on 30 amp short power plug so we got about half the current <clears throat> coming in and uh, just a couple milliamps of uh, leakage so I'd say that's good